I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI, says the U.S. president. Flynn, who on Friday pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia, is a former Defense Intelligence Agency director who was Trump's national security advisor only for 24 days. AP Archive President Donald Trump changed his story on Saturday on why he fired Michael Flynn as his national security advisor, now suggesting he knew at the time that Flynn had lied to the FBI as well as to Vice President Mike Pence about his contacts with Russians during the presidential transition. That was a turnabout from his initial explanations that Flynn had to go because he hadn't been straight with Pence about those contacts. Lying to the FBI is a crime and one that Flynn acknowledged Friday in pleading guilty and agreeing to cooperate with the special counsel's Russia investigation. I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. He has pled guilty to those lies. It is a shame because his actions during the transition were lawful. There was nothing to hide, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump December 2, 2017 Amid questions raised by the tweet, Trump associates tried to put distance on Saturday evening between the president himself and the tweet. One person familiar with the situation said the tweet was actually crafted by John Dowd, one of the president's personal attorneys. Dowd declined to comment when reached by the Associated Press on Saturday night. In another email wrinkle in the investigation into Trump's ties to Russia, the New York Times reported on Saturday that emails among top Trump transition officials suggested that Flynn was in close contact with other senior members of the transition team before and after he spoke to Russian ambassador Sergei Kislyak. A December 29 email from K.T. McFarland, a transition advisor to Trump, suggested that Russian sanctions announced by the Obama administration had been aimed at discrediting Trump's victory. She wrote the sanctions could also make it more difficult for Trump to ease tensions with Russia, which has just thrown the USA election to him, she wrote in the emails obtained by the Times. A White House attorney told the newspaper McFarland only meant that Democrats were portraying it that way. It's unclear why Trump would cite lying to the FBI as a reason for firing Flynn. Doing so suggests the president knew at the time that Flynn had done something that is against the law, and therefore the investigation could not be as frivolous as he's been portraying. It's also unclear how he would know that, if information about Russian contacts had not reached him, as he has been implying in his own defense. Flynn left the White House in February, only acknowledging that he had given an incomplete account to Pence of his conversations with Kislyak. After Trump forced Flynn out, he asked FBI Director James Comey to end the Bureau's probe in the matter, according to Comey's account. Comey refused, and Trump fired him, too. Then White House spokesman Sean Spicer said after Flynn's firing that it was the result of a trust issue and the White House counsel's office had determined there was not a legal issue. Trump has been publicly dismissive of Comey and of special counsel Robert Mueller's continuing investigation and was often generous in his appraisal of Flynn, except to say his advisor could not stay on the job after misleading his vice president. At the time, Pence said Trump was justified in firing Flynn because Flynn had lied to him. Neither Trump nor Pence indicated concern than that the FBI had not been told the true story. Source AP